The virtual Airtel Money Mastercard allows non-bankable Ugandans access global goods and services markets efficiently at a cost of only 1,000 shillings per transaction. So the Airtel Money Mastercard is linked to the Airtel Money wallet uh, of the Airtel Money customer, meaning that your Airtel Money balance is the balance uh, of your Mastercard or the amount to which you can pay uh, online. According to the Financial Inclusion Insights, Nearly 46% of Ugandans have financial services accounts, with mobile money leading the way to financial inclusion, as more than 4 in 10 adults, accounting for 43%, have mobile money accounts. Bank of Uganda is fully committed to supporting initiatives and products aimed at broadening not just the access, but the relevance of and affordability of the financial services being extended to those underserved segments of society. So basically we are targeting the entire online community, uh, people that are buying shoes and dresses uh, online, by enabling them to be able to make online payments without the need for uh, a bank account. It can now be done as long as you have an Airtel Money account. Through this service, one can now trade on Amazon, boost social media posts on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram, buy or sell internet domains, and artists can now sell their work online and get payments directly to their mobile money. So I wouldn't say that banks uh, will be affected or taken out of uh, business by innovations uh, like these. Uh, I think that there is a, a huge portion of our population uh, that can or is not reached by the banks uh, with the traditional banking models. Products like the Airtel Money Mastercard uh, support to get services that were traditionally bank-led uh, and make these services available to a wider range of the community. However, since May 2020, Government of Uganda through the Central Bank is undertaking the National Payment Systems Act, which among other objectives aims to counter cybersecurity and money laundering tendencies that are usually facilitated by electronic payment innovations. Wadulo Makanold for UBC News.